So someone asked this question the other day, and I thought it was a really good one. And the question was, what is the single most effective piece of financial advice have you ever received? And I really had to think about that. I didn't have to think about it very long, to be honest with you, because there's a lot of financial advice out there and a lot of it is helpful and a lot of it is applicable to your life. But the one that resonated with me the most was knowing how to manage your finances, knowing how to save, knowing how to get out of debt, knowing how to budget. That's all fine and dandy, but you can only go so far with that. Like even if you were doing it perfectly 100% of the time, you would be limited to the amount of money that you're making, which you probably see where I'm going with this now, but where I'm going with this is the single most important and I think effective piece of financial advice that I've ever received was that you need to focus on increasing your income. That's it. You need to focus more on increasing your income. Because let's say you're making $3,000 a month right now, you're going to be way more limited to what you could save compared to someone who's making $6,000, $7,000 a month, right? Unless they don't live below their means like I tell everybody to in my videos, but that's besides the point. That's why I'm saying a lot of the general advice that you may hear or that you may even see on my channel about living below your means, saving your money, and doing all of these things to make sure your finances are secure, I do think that's extremely important. But those are kind of like basics and fundamental. But the thing that has stuck out to me the most is if you get all that stuff down and then you proceed to learn and you grow and you make more money over the years and you focus and focus and focus on increasing your income, the more money you have, now you'll be able to apply that stuff even better. And you may not even have to apply that stuff that much at all if you're making a substantial amount of money because by default... You're going to be able to save a lot more than you would if you never increased your income. So that's the most important piece of advice that I received because I was thinking, oh, I'm going to keep saving. And the question was given to me, okay, well, let's say you have $50,000 in your bank account. That's great. That's more than what most people have, right? How long is that going to last you? Now, most people watching this video know good and well, probably less than a year. With this inflation, with this cost of living, probably less than a year. But if you made an extra $50,000 a year, how much could you grow your savings? Now that answer becomes a lot more interesting than the answer of less than a year, right? Because now if you make an extra $50,000 a year and you don't upgrade your life expenses, think about what you could do with that extra $50,000. You may need to plan some of it out for taxing and stuff, but for the most part, you're going to be able to do so much more with the extra $50,000 and it's all up to you to figure out what you're going to do. So yes, fundamentals, basics, they're extremely, extremely important, but the most important thing is the amount that you're making. If you only make like a dollar a day, for example, how much of that are you going to be able to spend, save? live on, etc. It's not going to be the same category as making a thousand dollars a day. I know that's a dramatic example, but I'm trying to paint a picture for you so you can really see what I mean and why it stuck out to me so much because I was out here grinding. I was out here penny pinching. I was out here working hard, sweating, trying to figure out what I could do to save an extra dollar, trying to see what I could do to get out of debt a little faster. But the answer is the quickest way to save money and the quickest way to get out of debt is simply to make more money. So now we're going to jump into how are we going to make more money? This is where things get interesting because another thing that stuck out to me was making passive income. That stuck out to me at first. I was like, yeah, these people on YouTube, they're making an extra $2,000, $3,000 passively from their books, from their courses, from their YouTube channel. I didn't realize it takes years to build that. So... I say all that to say this, when you focus on increasing your income, you should not discriminate whether it's passive income or active income. If you're trading your time for money or whatever, none of that matters. Because realistically, if you could make an extra $1,000 this month, whether you traded your time for it or not, guess what? You made an extra $1,000. And I was only focused, only focused on passive income. At first, I was all about the active income. I had this little business going on, drumline business and stuff, and I was making a few extra hundred dollars a month, but that didn't really seem like much to me, so I just I stopped doing it. I, I wanted more customers, but 
I also didn't want to spend too many hours doing it and doing my full-time job. So I just stopped. I was like, actually, I'm going to do passive income. And if you don't know what passive income is, it's basically when you spend a lot of time up front building something or a lot of money up front into like the stock market or something. And then you just wait for it to give you results. But the main one that most people do is spending a bunch of time up front, like recording YouTube videos, planning out how your whole YouTube channel is going to go and then filming and then filming and then two views, three views, a hundred views, five views, 200 views, a thousand views, and then go through that grind and go through that mental turmoil and then eventually start getting AdSense revenue, except you're not necessarily gonna make like a fortune. Like some channels who have over 100,000 subscribers are making like $1,000 or $1,700 extra a month. That's really cool and it's supplemental income, but I had to come to the realization early on that passive income isn't necessarily gonna pay the bill. It's gonna supplement my income. Even active income is gonna supplement my income and I have to keep building and scaling on top of that. So probably the easiest way to get extra income now is stuff that you could probably do at your job, like overtime. In a lot of manufacturing facilities, for example, they offer overtime and a lot of nine to five places nowadays, they offer overtime because there's so much work to be done and so little people, there is a headcount shortage across the world right now because you know, COVID and people are realizing that, well, I can just get me a job from home. And so when you find jobs that allow you overtime, even though it can feel like you're caged and it can feel like you don't really want to spend all your time doing it, if you dedicate like three months of grinding towards that goal and three months of building more income through doing overtime, you'll be in a much different place in three months than you are right now. And um, something I, I told my brother, because my brother moved out here where I'm at now, he got his own place and... Um, I was like, yeah, man, I mean, just dedicate three months to working overtime work one or two days extra per week. I promise you, by the way, that's between five and six days a week. I didn't advise that he worked seven days a week, but I told him to do one to two days extra per week and he would see a return on his investment. And then I told him, you know, you're going to be exhausted. But after that, just take a long vacation and then you'll be getting what your normal paychecks are. And then when you come back from your vacation, you can do overtime again, or you can just keep doing your normal schedule because by then you'll be able to get to exactly where you want to get to. Now, of course, I don't know your financial situation. I knew his because I knew exactly how much he made. I knew exactly what the numbers were behind what his goals were and everything. So I could help him out. But probably a general rule of thumb is most people could work overtime for as much as I said just now over the course of three months and make way more money. That's probably like, that's a few thousand extra dollars now that you're able to make purely because you worked overtime for a few months. You don't have to marry it, but that is a really good way that I think is slept on. Usually when I see people work overtime, it's like because they wanna buy a new car, they wanna buy a new house, but these are permanent bills because they, they wanna buy something big that's gonna perpetually have them spending money or perpetually working overtime. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about working overtime intelligently to help you either get to a point where you're more financially stable or you're able to invest more or you're able to be in a better financial standing without having to pay more bills. Even if you're working overtime so you can buy an 85 inch flat screen TV for your living room, that's a much more productive reason than working overtime so you can make a down payment on a car that costs more than you make per year and then wonder why you gotta spend so much freaking money a month just to afford that car even after you put that down payment down. I'm just saying you wanna avoid decisions like this. Increasing your income is a very attractive thing. It's a very cool thing to be able to do and have that feeling of control in your life, but that's a good way to do it. You could also, of course, do side hustles. My side hustle happens to be YouTube. I hope to turn my side hustle into a business where it's YouTube, plus my website with my coaching services, plus my book, plus my stock investing course that's coming out very, very soon. I'm about to start production on that and start recording it. I have most of the content laid out on my computer right now and it's nice and organized. Now I just gotta record it, sample it a little bit, make sure that it looks good to go. And then I'm gonna be beta testing it and then it's gonna be released for the world to see. So I'm excited about that, but that's what I'm saying. These things are supplementing 
my income. Like my book, it can give me an extra few hundred dollars a month. My YouTube channel, same thing. So that's supplementing my income. It's not necessarily like life changing, right? But I bet if you got an extra six, seven hundred, eight hundred dollars a month, you'd be pretty happy with that. It's like, oh wow, you know. But you know, it's far from passive because I actively post on YouTube. For my book, sometimes I market it, sometimes I don't. But my book, I put an incredible amount of time. I spent two hours a day, every day for like three months. That's why I say you can get a lot done in three months. And when it was over, the book was done and I was happy with it. And that's time I'll never get back, but that's time that I risked just up front in order to maybe get paid in the future. But that book is gonna live on. And that book has links to my website. It has links to my YouTube channel. It has links to my Instagram. It has links to everything that I have, every product that I have to offer. And so it's going to act as a vehicle that brings people back to the core product. And even if it doesn't, they still bought the book. They still got value from the book. And so it's like a win-win. I earned money and I gave value and you receive value from it and you learn something and you're able to take that and apply it to your life and improve your life. That is what this channel, that's what this platform, that is what this brand is all about. And lastly, a great way to increase your income is investing. And that's going to take a long time, maybe, especially if you don't know what you're doing. But even if you know what you're doing, it can take some time. Like it's not going to happen. You put a thousand dollars in today, you get ten thousand dollars out tomorrow necessarily. But it may take you some years. But so what? It's money that's going to grow no matter what. That's true passive income. Or you might invest in yourself to where, like, you do like what I did. I paid for a coach for YouTube, and I also paid for a YouTube course, and I learned a lot about the YouTube algorithm. Even though it ain't pushing my videos out like it should be doing. YouTube, if you're listening, push this video out. <laughs> but I learned a lot about the algorithm. I learned a lot about connecting with an audience. I learned a lot about eye contact with the camera. I learned a lot about what my brand means and how to really talk to a camera without making it seem or feel awkward. And I learned how to talk to my audience, not at my audience. Unless, of course, I get fired up and then my delivery just goes out the window. I learned how to expand and start growing on Instagram and on TikTok and all these other things and expanding and putting some people on payroll in my business and things like that. That's ultimately increasing my income and supplementing my income even more. And the goal is one day it overrides what I make at work, which is going to take a lot of money. But, you know, I'm not upset about that if it does, because my goal is to make as much money at work while working as few hours as possible and building up side income on the side. And with that extra money, I'm gonna use it to grow my business and I'm gonna use it to invest in the stock market like I've already been doing. That's ultimately gonna build my net worth. And you know, my savings is pretty on point, but obviously with the extra money, I can put more toward my savings if I want to. These are things to think about when it comes to the future and stuff. This isn't, this isn't necessarily how the average person thinks. Most people just think, okay, I'm gonna to go to work, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna get my paycheck, I'm gonna spend half of it on nonsense and then the other half of it on actual needs and then it's going to keep keep you know cycling through that's what it's going to be every single month for me i'm like nah i'm thinking about the future i'm going to save a little bit here invest a little bit there pay for my needs pay for some of my wants keep it moving make my money grow look for opportunity i might add another person to payroll so they can edit my videos you know what i'm saying like i'm thinking about the future what can grow my brand what can help my side income grow even more and you know i'm using that with my side income. So with my side income that I'm making now, I'm able to use it toward investing into other people who are seeing my vision as well that can help me grow my business too. I'm not just taking that extra money and spending it on fancy steakhouses and all these other things. I could, but maybe I don't want to. Maybe right now I want to focus on growing my business. Or maybe I just want to use money from a different bucket to go to fancy steakhouses and use my business money for business things. Does that make sense? There's a time and place for everything. You can split up your wants, needs, your dreams, your desires, and your goals. You can split all those things up. But it starts with the most valuable advice that I've ever received, and that is to focus on increasing your income. I hope you enjoyed this video. That is the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant, and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth, so we can control you, control your finances, control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.